opens the door, puts the gun in my face. Yo, give me everything. Run everything. I'm like, oh, they got me. Don't talk about it. While I'm telling them, pleading, like, yo, sorry, they're driving right to the front of my house. How would they know where I live? Somebody gave me up. Somebody in that circle with my same gang gave me up. And I and at that moment, I'm just like, the man right in the other room is sleeping with my girl, and he swear he moved on. I don't give a fuck if I'm held accountable for what I did. Yes, I snitched and I did it proud. When I first met the gang, right? I had no intentions of sleeping with their girl. I had no intention of kidnapping them. I had no intention of stealing money from them. Before I even got locked up, they were sleeping with my girl. Did you know that the rapper 6 9 grabbed America's attention by stirring up much trouble and drama? He became known as Hip Hop's troll prince because he was good at making people angry and getting a lot of attention. During the summer of 2017, Danielle Hernandez, also known as the rapper Takashi69, stepped outside a row house in Brooklyn to shoot a music video. Little did he know this video would skyrocket him to fame in the music industry, but it would also cause big problems for him later on. But what happened to him now? Did all this trouble ruin his career? We will figure it out today, so watch the video till the end to know what he did to ruin his career. What happened in the summer of 2017 and why? Daniel Hernandez, born in Brooklyn, New York City on May 8, 1996, had a tough upbringing. His mom, who came from Mexico for a better life, raised him and his brother in a church. His dad, from Puerto Rico, wasn't around much due to struggles with drugs and prison time. Daniel faced hardship early when his stepdad was killed in 2010, leaving the family in financial trouble. They relied on welfare. Sometimes Daniel and his brother went to bed hungry. He got into trouble and was expelled in the eighth grade. To help his family, Daniel started working different jobs, but he needed more money, so he decided to become a rapper. So in 2012, his journey into rap started when he met Peter Righteous P. Rogers, the head of a New York record label at the vegan store where Daniel worked in Bushwick, Brooklyn. Righteous P noticed Daniel's look, and he also suggested he try rapping because he seemed to have the style and rhythm for it. In 2014, Daniel started releasing his rap songs. His first track, 69, came out in August, followed by Pimpin in September, and then Who the F is You and 4769 in October. 4769 was his first collaboration, featuring two other rappers from Brooklyn. Daniel's music videos stood out because he used anime, like the Japanese death god Shinigami from Death Note, as visuals. He gained attention for his intense rapping style and his use of anime in his videos. Daniel became known as Takashi 69, combining Takashi from Japanese anime and 69 from both the 69 position and the yin yang symbol. He became famous online for his colorful hair, tattoos, and rainbow plated grills. It seems like his rise era has begun. He became friends with New York rapper Zilakami, who was Righteous P's younger half brother. But their friendship soured when Daniel found out that Righteous P and Zilakami were planning to sign a record deal without him. This led to conflicts, including allegations of unpaid bail money and disagreements over music rights. Despite these challenges, Daniel kept working on his music. He teamed up with another rapper, Andrew Green, also known as Trife Drew, to create more music and videos together. In April 2017, 6 ix 9 collaborated with Trippy Red on the track Poles 1469, which gained attention on YouTube. His breakthrough moment came in 2017 when his commercial debut single Gummo dropped on November 10th, 2017 and made waves, reaching number 12 on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. The Gummo video propelled Hernandez into three distinct paths, one of fame, one of infamy, and one that could spell the end of his career. With its striking and unforgettable 6 9 persona, Gummo became a viral sensation, achieving platinum status within months. This surge in popularity also brought attention to Hernandez's troubled past, including a guilty plea for specific charges in 2015 and in 2018 when he was arrested on racketeering and other weapons and drug charges, this overshadowed his rise to stardom. However, the most important moment of that day in Brooklyn was when he met Kifano Jordan. 
also known as Shadi. Shadi, reportedly a Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods member, organized the intimidating group in the video and later became Takashi's manager. Yet, authorities say he also posed a danger to Takashi. Those close to Hernandez say he had no gang involvement before meeting Shadi, but just a year later, Takashi found himself in jail, facing serious charges like armed robbery and attempted murder, with a possible sentence of 32 years to life. Later, we discussed this in the video. On January 14th, 2018, Hernandez dropped Keki featuring Fetty Wap and a boogie with the hoodie, which hit the Hot 100. He followed up with his second mixtape, Day 69, on February 23rd, 2018. The mixtape reached number 4 on the Billboard 200, selling 55,000 units. Critic John Karamanica praised it for its departure from traditional hip-hop. Two tracks from Day 69, Billy and Rondo, also entered the Hot 100, peaking at 50 and 73 respectively. In April 2018, Hernandez released Gotti, with a video showing him giving cash to the needy. Despite debuting at 99 on the Hot 100, it fell off the next week, marking his sixth entry on the chart. Daniel often showed off his expensive jewelry on Instagram, like his jigsaw necklace, which he claimed cost him $300,000. In one post, he even joked about someone stealing it to help boost his music sales. In July 2018, he was kidnapped, beaten, and robbed. He hinted it might have been planned by someone close. His car got hit from behind, someone with a gun forced him into another car, then took him to his apartment where they scared his family and stole stuff. 6 9 managed to escape by jumping out of the moving car, and also Shadi slept with his girlfriend. In November, just three weeks after the incident, 6 9 announced on Instagram that he was firing his entire management team, including Shadi and his crew due to financial problems, but he didn't name them directly. The police were already looking into 6 9 and they found a gun and a stolen bag at his place during a search in September. Things got dangerous for him. It's hard to leave a gang just by posting on Instagram. After 6 9s announcement, the FBI warned him about a threat to his life. Shadi and his group were being looked into by the police, who heard on wiretaps that they planned to hurt 6 9 The FBI offered protection, but he said no. After a thorough investigation involving the ATF, Homeland Security, and the NYPD, an indictment was issued against Shadi and his crew, including 6 9 Just nine days after his arrest, on November 27th, 6 9s debut album, Dummy Boy, hit the internet. While it debuted at number two, it disappointed fans. Critics were harsh, too. With only a few unreleased tracks left, it seems like the end of 6 9s wild ride. Facing six serious charges, there's no chance of early release from federal prison. He was arrested on racketeering and firearms charges. Prosecutors claim that he was involved with a violent gang called the Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods, which did a lot of bad stuff like shootings, robberies, and selling drugs in New York City, charged under the RICO Act for gangs. Accusations included fights at the Barclays Center and Bedford Stuyvesant, a fight at Complex Con and a robbery near Times Square. Call security! Call security! Despite numerous attempts, he couldn't secure his release. If found guilty, he faces at least 32 years in jail. Witness protection isn't an option due to his recognizable face. A sentence of less than 10 years seems improbable. Despite cooperating with authorities and testifying against gang members to lessen his sentence, he's been labeled a snitch in the hip hop community, severely damaging his reputation. Takashi69 didn't mind being called a snitch. He used Instagram to talk about other rappers like Meek Mill saying they worked with the police. He also criticized Future and Snoop Dogg for hanging out with people 
he thinks, are snitches. He believed any rapper would do what he did if they were in his shoes. So don't tell me what I've chose to do in my life because if I cho if I did what people say, oh, you should have did, you guys move on with your life. I throw my whole life away to, to, to please you, to please you, to please them. I'm going to throw my whole life away, throw up millions of dollars away. Some people didn't like him because he always wanted attention on social media. In 2020, he took a break from social media, but then came back. He made a music video with Nicki Minaj called Trolls, which many people liked. Even though people warned him not to go out, he went to a dangerous place in Chicago and made fun of a rapper named Lil Reese. But even though he gets lots of attention, his album Tattle Tales didn't sell as much as he hoped. Album on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you listen to it. I will. I will. Upcoming album. Yeah. It's my album. Tattletail. Very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear the bird. Make sure you listen to the album. Uh, album. Yeah. Album. In 2022, things seemed to change for 6 ix 9 when he hung out with Steve Will Do It. They made videos together where 6 ix 9 acted differently, showing a nicer side. They even did good things for people who needed help. It seemed like 6 ix 9 was moving away from his past problems with other rappers and trying new things with his friend Steve. But then 6 ix 9 did something that made people question him again. He tricked Steve into working with a guy who looked like another rapper, Lil Durk. 6 ix 9 made the guy wear clothes that would start drama with Lil Durk. This upset Steve and he had to say sorry a lot. Despite all the drama surrounding him, he returned to his music career. He released his Shaka Laka song featuring Kodak Black and many other songs on his YouTube channel. On January 17th, 2024, he was arrested by Dominican authorities for domestic violence. Rapper Takashi 69 appeared in court in the Dominican Republic today. The rapper, whose real name is Daniel Hernandez, was arrested on domestic violence charges Wednesday. The judge postponed the hearing until the rapper's attorney could prepare a defense. Hernandez has had a history of legal trouble, but has also been the victim of violence. He was assaulted in a South Florida gym last year. He was held in jail in Santo Domingo, and a hearing was scheduled for January 18th to decide if he would be released on bond. He was eventually released on January 20th. 25th, 2024, on the condition that he undergo government counseling and meet with authorities every two months until their investigation concludes. He was also ordered to pay a $510 deposit. We are still determining what will happen next for Takashi. And this is the reason why his career ended before it even began. He lost everything at its peak just because of his past. If you want more content like this, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay in touch.